I'm going to spend the next 100 hours in this beautiful bar. <laughs> Time starts now. My friends will play a critical role in this challenge. Every 30 minutes they have to pump some air in the ball because if not, I will die. Oh, I always have to breathe inside here. Yeah. This challenge is a lot harder than I thought it would be. My oxygen level dropped. This is alarming. Inside the ball it was hotter than a sauna, but then we finally got to the shade. It's better? So much better. This is like heaven. Chris! <laughs> so here is the best place because I have the sea that is cold and it's cooling me down. Uh, the truck driver that was supposed to come and pick me up scammed us. I was afraid that I have to roll back to the city inside my ball. So we ask our Instagram friends if there are any truck drivers around us that can help us. And luckily a subscriber was willing to take us back. And the most amazing thing is that he's driving the van for the first time in his life. We are going to die. What up? <laughs> okay, let's go. Push! 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 Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, baby! The ball driver, come! Yo! You wanna kiss me? Oh. I love you! And we roll! We got obstacles and we'll face them. Yeah! 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 The driver shouts. The truck is going like poof! Uh, hold on, guys! Okay! Are you alive? I was worried the ball would pop. And when I thought things couldn't get any worse. Yeah, do, 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 I know. I know, we're fully empty. I am aware. The van is almost out of gas. I don't know if we can make it until the first billets and fill up. <laughs> yeah. There is a big possibility we're not gonna make it. As long as you're alive, there's always hope. So we finally found gas. We're safe, we're not stuck. After putting gas, we immediately visited my doctor to see how dangerous this challenge is. First of all, I would not sign off on this. The biggest risk here is that his CO2 levels are rising as he's exhaling all the time. At night, he could yeah, fall yeah, asleep fent, fent. and go into a coma. I'm gonna put on him 24 seven heart rate. It's gonna check his breathing rate and it's gonna check his oxygen oh, very levels. Good, man. We're back at the track again. We planned to meet up with my subscribers, but they were not expecting me to show up in a ball. Hello, let's go, you can kick him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy, come. Oh. <laughs> Kicks and punches aside, the meetup was amazing. I love you guys. After taking lots of pictures, it was time to go home to prepare for the first night inside the ball. I came back in my house and I cannot fit to the door. So I have to sleep outside. <laughs> It is all the sweat that I have in my clothes. Dehydration is a big problem for Fivia, so it's really important since he's peeing in a bottle that we check the color. The darker the color, the more water he needs. No, my teacher will be holding my pee. <laughs> yeah. It's just pee in a bottle. So it's night now. This is my house. We're taking this challenge extremely serious. All the night I had two professionals standby to put oxygen in the ball and shaking on me to not go into a coma. It's the next morning. To celebrate 24 hours, my teacher brought me a present. There is steam coming off this. Look at it, because it's so hot around it. This drink was perfect for the heat. Wow. But it wasn't helping my hunger. Bring me food. Thank you. Oh my god, it's so cold, I love it. This is a subscriber that came and picked us up yesterday. Oh, and because we like you, we told you to come back. We're here, I like you too. What's your oxygen level? 93. Bro, this is kind of low, isn't it? The doctor said if it goes below 95, it's dangerous. Below 95 and we're already 93? I'm very concerned with Fidias' blood oxygen saturation. Yesterday, he was hovering at 98. He dropped this afternoon to 94 and he's been low ever since. It's probably due to all the sweating and the heat that he's feeling inside of that bubble. I'm really concerned. So now it's time to clean his ball as soon as possible to make it sparkling clean from the outside. Oh. Mission clean Fidias, let's go. After they clean it, we are going to go out to get clean. 64 hours left! Woo! As I'm walking down the street, everyone is staring at me. 
Yeah. We're gonna sit and eat Chinese actually. We got the red carpet oh. service for Fidia's Chinese. Can I have the menu? Put it in, put it in. Now I have the menu. You are not limited after all inside the bowl. You can eat like a normal person. I get to order for Fidia's now. We need to spice things up. No worries. No, no okay, let's go. Extra spicy then. This is my perspective from inside the bowl. This is my food. Oh wow. Bon appetit, brother. All fun aside, it's time to prepare for another dangerous night. Hopefully, I make it. So we're back. How are you feeling? Amazing. This world helped a lot. Some people in five-star hotels are less happy than this guy in a bubble. Everyone lives in their own bubble, even you. Ah, uh, 60 hours to go. It's difficult. But because I have good people around me, I think I can't do this. So I'm going to sleep now. But even with people around me, I was still highly at risk. We came to see the sunrise in the water. Swimming, both of us. Let's do a race together. Who do you think is faster? Me inside the ball or an average person swim? <laughs> I won. 54 hours left. <laughs> but now I'm running out of oxygen. The sunrise was nice, but moving so much made everything worse. My oxygen level dropped to 88 now. This is alarming actually. Not good at all. <sighs> I had a lot of plans for day three, but I decided to cancel everything and stay home to get my oxygen level back up. I will try to see if I can do the everyday tasks that I have today. And this is a business meeting with my business partner. Let's get to it. So, you are fired. <laughs> Come on, man. After the meeting, my doctor came to check on me. Chris is here to monitor my health and he brought a visit to us. Hello, Maria. Maria is very interested in this ball. So last night was very scary. Fidias' oxygen levels went down to below 90. In this video, if we make a mistake, I die, 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 die. It's been more than three days. He has just 24 hours left, so we brought Fidias a gift. Fidias, wake up, rise and shine. Brought you something to start the day healthy. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Good luck, all right, I gotta go. Bye. Don't go anywhere. My manager told me not to go anywhere, but I really wanted to go out. So I hired a pickup truck to transport me in the most unsafe way possible. Everything is gonna be safe. No. Okay. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing ever. Everyone was looking at me like I was crazy. But what we are going to do next will be even crazy. Pull it. Oh, yes! Woo! This is probably never been done before in the whole world. Let's see what happens when you go fast speed with the boat and you have a ball in the back. Whoa! Start it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, it's crazy! After coming out from the sea, something else was waiting for me. I love football, but I cannot play inside the ball. The only way to do it is for me to be the ball. So we have two teams here. Oh. <laughs> the team that will push me to the other side first wins the trophy. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> This is the last night, we have to do something special. We are going clubbing. I finally changed my clothes after 85 hours and hopped on the pickup truck. I'm very curious to see how people will react when they see someone party inside the ball. For no reason, people there were kicking and punching me because they were drunk. Stop! Good question. I love it. Can I come inside? I'm going to play rock, 
paper, scissors with this girl. And if she wins, she's got to come inside. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. See you. Bye. Actually, I hate clubbing, but today was actually more fun. Clubbing the ball is more fun. After a couple of hours, we came back home. It is the last night, baby. Oh my god, another 10 hours left. It's the first time in my life that I want to breathe air so bad. We are so exhausted all together. The last night was the worst. I got fed up being inside this disgusting ball. Being in a bubble is very limited. People have to help me eat, have to help me go to the toilet. Imagine people that they cannot do anything themselves for years. This challenge teach me how lucky I am. Finally, 100 hours passed! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cool! Oh my god, that is amazing! I did this challenge to show that perspective is everything when you are experiencing the challenges of life. 